Hey guys, bro right here. Wanted to talk to you guys about the the candy ice cave and all the sick stuff that's inside of it. I know you guys know everything about the inside of it, but I wanted to give you some tactical input on pretty much what your primary options are, what what I do to get in there and get the sweet stuff and get out without getting murdered and getting getting as many frags as you can. Or just not getting caught off guard. It's easy to get shot in the back and such so just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what my strategies are for the cave if you are going there 100 percent before you even get in the plane you know you're going so let's talk about um, those two ideas and how they kind of play out in the game the first one is what i'm doing right now in the u.s which is i'm landing on a vehicle getting lucky that i got a vehicle and i'm just going as fast as I can into that damn stone. So if you're not aware of the cave, there are three entrances to it. Let me show you real quick on the map right here. So the first one, the most popular one, is on the southeast part of this hill right here. I'm gonna ping it so you guys see it. It's lower, it's very low on the hill, and it's kind of in a little pocket or valley and goes right into the side of the, the mountain there. And it's definitely the most popular spot for people to try to crash or push into the hill. And I find it to be the one that's open the most in the, in, when you're going for this. The next location is slightly west of the first one. And it's kind of a smaller one. And there's a bunch of trees and like a bump on approach. So you gotta be careful driving at it. You might you know find yourself struggling a little bit make sure you have enough speed here too because if you don't have enough speed you're gonna you're not gonna break the rock and this part is slightly uphill so you have to really make sure you're shifted and you don't bump anything or decelerate in any way so you can actually break that rock and get in there but this one is a little bit less trafficked there's not usually foot traffic waiting here. There's not usually foot traffic that is trying to get in or like wait for you to break it to get in here. Or And a lot of people don't think that this one gets opened. Same with the, uh, the, the last one. But I think this is actually the least trafficked uh, entrance to the cave. The last location is on the northwest aspect of the, of the mountain here. This one, it, there's a forest just further northwest of it, and there's three compounds northwest, north, and northeast of it. So it tends to get a little bit more foot traffic and people that anticipate people to crash through trying to get into it. But it's, it, it's actually one of the best spots to get in here if you get a car fast when you're landing, um, like places like west or north. All three of these places, your, your most ideal situation is getting a car and getting there first, driving in, and not getting stuck on some of the crap in the in the tunnel going down to the cave so you can actually stop the car right in the, the entrance at the base of the cave um, and really just be the first one there and start loading up a gun and being aware of your, your surroundings as soon as that happens. This often results in a textbook shooting fish in a barrel situation as noted in the video where I got this M249 and started melting people that had nothing. But it's not always just that easy. Sometimes people break into the far side at the exact same time as you breaking in to your side, and they're loading a gun the same time you are if they got in there very quickly. Sometimes people walk in after you just killed somebody because maybe two sides are broken into, and you don't hear them walking into the far side while you are you just finished off killing another guy or lo looting somebody. Sometimes people just show up, and you never heard their footsteps because there's a little bit of distance in there. So you gotta be aware of those things. You gotta be checking your back um, and trying to be aware of which sides are open that people can come into. There's another thing that's, um, another way to get into these places is you can throw a grenade at, uh, at the entrances and, and they'll blow up and you can get out. But it's really hard to find grenades on Vikendi, so usually that's not an option. These next two kills are a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. This guy just whack-a-mole pops up from behind a U.S. I know he was there. I was looting around the other side of the cave. Guy snuck in with a gun, hid behind the U.S., waited to, to blab me. Fortunately, I was fast enough to kill him. Guy after that snuck down. I heard him. I knew he was coming, held a position, and he just walked him into my pre-aim. 
So that was an easy one, but that's what I'm saying. They're gonna people are gonna come in and try to vulture your you know your goods. So make sure you don't get caught off guard. And if you're vulturing and you're coming in later, make sure you come in pretty sneaky because it's really easy to hear you sprinting around in those tunnels if they're on the, the side of your entrance. But it's also it's gonna be pretty easy to sneak in if they don't happen to be listening very well. They don't hear you moving in or they're just busy looting at the other side of the cave where you're not already at. Take your time to get in there. So when it's time to leave the cave, because you don't want to get caught in a huge pinch if a million people are trying to get in there, or if you just need to get to the circle and you've murdered you know, half the server in the cave already, uh, you can just take a vehicle right out one of the entrances that's not open. Just be aware that there is a select few percentage of the vultures who come in later who like to just camp in front of the en the exits. But you can't really you got to go out in some capacity. Just hopefully you got a vehicle to to leave with because that will just allow you to run, move a lot faster. It's a little more sketchy if you go out on foot and somebody's camping the exit. Generally speaking, I think the most successful strategy when it comes to getting into the cave and getting the kills and getting the weapon and getting out alive is being in there first or being in one side first as the other person on the other side is lo loading a gun, you're getting a gun at the same time. At least equivalent with the fastest person in there. Or you go in there late and just hope that you can vulture it out. But that's not, you're not going to get as many kills. You might get pinched from somebody coming in behind you while you're fighting the person inside. And you're going to find that the person already has both crate guns and they're gone unless they left one because there's doubles or they just didn't like something. So generally speaking, I like to drop at intersections um, north of Padvosto and north of the, the mountain itself. Uh, northwest, west of the mountain, northwest uh, around the river area. There's often car spawns, but I, I usually just drop for an intersection, hope my RNG is good, that there's a car spawn that's going to show up. If I see one, I go for it. If I don't, I just loot and I figure out my life wherever I landed. If I want to go push the cave, if it's in circle, maybe I'll do it. If I want to just play the game, uh, then, then, then I'll do that. So generally, I have the most success getting a car being first in there, though, which makes sense. So I hope this little guide on the Vikendi cave uh, is helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions about it. I think my next video is probably going to be on Pachinki and how to hot drop in Pachinki. So I will see you guys on stream and I will see you in PUBG. Peace.